What's going on, folks? So I just want to talk about uh, Rich Paul. He was on the It Is What It Is podcast and talking with Mason Cameron, and they were having a conversation with him about Bronny and nepotism and how people think that he only got into uh, or is going to possibly get into the NBA because of his dad. And he made a great point where there are a lot of people out there that, you know, this country is pretty much founded on that principle of nepotism. There's a lot of people that wouldn't have literally been able to create whatever they've created or become a successful billionaire or could become a successful millionaire or um, a high earner without their parents, uh, you know, creating generational wealth, you know, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the, um, you know, Warren Buffett, um, you know, various entities out there that made it possible, you know, um, you know, you know, you look at it from, from Steph Curry's dad, even though Steph Curry, Del Curry, um, he became bigger than him, but had it not been for this dad, you know, interaction or, a relationship with the NBA, um, you know, Steph wouldn't have had, you know, opportunities that he um, has been provided, you know. Steph did the work. Yes, yeah, Steph has put all the work into becoming who he is, take nothing away from that. But his dad helped open the doors. And isn't that what we want in our lives out there in society of, you know, children having a chance, having a chance to become um, you know, great and and the parents providing opportunities for them. I mean, you look at LeBron. LeBron didn't have a lot of opportunities provided for him. He had to create it. And, of course, the ones that's the first to do it in their family is harder. But the goal is for it to become easier for your children. So at the end of the day, I don't put any of this on Bronny of, you know, I know there's folks out there that didn't have the opportunities that he had. But it isn't his fault. And I understand that there are some people that their families are riding on their success. You know, they literally are the one, the chosen one. And they might not get into the NBA, uh, you know, the traditional route. You know, he, he made some great points. Rich Paul was saying Nas Reed and Van Fleet. And there's pretty much tons of other players, not just in the NBA, of other sports that were not even drafted. You know, had to go... Um, you know, the route of trying to make the team or going overseas, then coming back over here. Um, and, and I believe that, you know, all that is to say that, you know, I love what Rich Paul said in, in regards to we always hear in society that black fathers are not present in their child's lives. They're deadbeat dads. But if you really want to do the stats, as far as uh, fathers in the home and who are the most active fathers out of all ethnicities, it is black Americans. All right. And, and LeBron is showing him being active in his child's life, being there uh, and, and, and showing the positive side of fatherhood. Michael Jordan, all these types of fathers that are in the in the league and not even in the league and beyond. Um, that are actively in their in their child's life, and you make a great point of who wouldn't want to play, um, you know, on the same team as their son. That's a a, a a shining moment to to know that you are going to be able to reflect and and have the memory of the fact that you play side by side with your child. You were able to pass to your child, and they score their first points. Or your your son throws you an alley. I mean, that, that's got to be the greatest thing in the world to have happen. So at the end of the day, all the people hating on them, uh, on, on either one of them, I mean, you got to look at it. Imagine if you were in their, their shoes. So I honestly believe that, you know, the Lakers are going to draft um, Bronny um, or whoever drafts Bronny. I see LeBron going there and maybe playing for a year or two. But I, I think it's going to happen. I think this is a real deal thing that's going to happen. And I think it'd be great for sports. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the 
Rick Barry and John Barry and Brent Barry. I mean, they all had not been for their dad. Uh, I'm not saying they were never made it to the NBA, but their dad actually helped them and get to where they're going. It's the Manning, the Manning brothers, you know, Peyton, uh, Archie Manning, Eli. Um, they got another brother playing. I mean, had it not been for the father. So um, we should always have that mindset um, in our family line to to create a life that's better for um, our children, to, to give them easier access to success. Yes, of course, that we don't want it to be all easy. We want them to go through their own struggles, their own difficulties, their own tough times in order to become, um, you know, the own, their own version of themselves. You know, Brian is going to go through his ridicule. He's going to go through the media saying all types of things, and it's healthy for him. It's, nat- it's going to be natural way of growing, of going through those, those uh, you know, ridicule from the peanut gallery of folks that are going to help him get thick skin. But at the end of the day, he ain't going to be the next LeBron. He's going to be the first Bronny. And I hope he does pair up with his dad.